So, Brendan, the sun's shining. Leicester are through to the quarterfinals of the Europa Conference League. Things are good, aren't they, today? Yeah, well, they can't not be when you drive into here and the sun's shining and we're all healthy, so we're, we're very lucky. But, uh, yeah, great to get through the, the game last night. Uh, really, you know, over the two legs to get through against a, a really, really good Ren team. Mm. Um, and especially with us, with the players that maybe are unavailable, it really shows you how... You, uh, for the, the players had to dig deep and I guess a good side come through so so yeah we're delighted and now we'll await the draw Absolutely and, and in terms of the progress of the club and the strides that you're making here to get through to a quarter final it's only the second time in the, the club's history that you've got to a European quarter final it still underlines what's going on here despite what's been a difficult season for you Yeah it has been a really challenging season we, we seem to get players back and then we lose some and, mm. and that's just the, the nature of how it's been for us but the players that have been available, they kept fighting despite the challenges that we've had and we've had some very, very good results and performances and some not so good. But as we say, it's, it's progress does come in fits and starts. It's not all in a, in a straight line. Uh, but there's no doubt the experiences that the players and the club is gaining all the time from the European experiences, the, the players getting the game time, like last night is just a great experience for a lot of our players and the, the, the atmosphere, the intensity of it. And in cup competitions, you know, knockout competitions brings that togetherness and that unity. And, and you could see that very much in the team last night. You said about the goal. It was a unlikely surprise goal scorer, whichever way you want to put it, with it being Wesley Fofana. And of course, him being back from injury, like you said after the match, a huge mm. boost for everyone, really. How careful are you going to have to be with Wesley over these next few weeks? Yeah, well, we have to be. I think it's been out for such a long time. Uh, it's always tempting with a player of that quality and that mentality. You know, he, he's an elite young player who's going to develop into a top class player. Uh, so it's always tempting to, to want to put him in, but, but we just have to be. We just have to be careful mm. with him. You know, he's um, he's a uh, fantastic talent. But with the injuries had, and especially the recovery, yeah. the, the recovery time is not so long in between. So we'll just gauge it over the next uh, over the next day or so. But uh, just great to have him back on the field. You see his impact. Uh, you see his mentality, that competitive age, and that's what the, you can always draw a line for me to the top players. You know between their their talent and and how competitive they are, and uh, I see that every day when he trains. And then he takes that onto the pitch and you see his determination to, to get up and head it and score. So, um, so yeah, delighted to have him back, but we just got to uh, we just got to assess him on a daily basis now. What about Brentford then? <coughs> what have you sort of made of their campaign? They seem to have found form again at the worst possible time for Leicester. No, not really. It's just the ups and downs of it, especially, you know, they've they done great. Thomas, his staff and players, you know, we really enjoyed watching them. It's... I've been on that journey myself from with Swansea into the into the Premier League. Um, obviously started off great, and then what always will happen in the in the Premier League when you when you're in that for that first season, you're always going to have a dip. Um, and obviously they went through a period there where they, they weren't winning, they were losing games, but uh, but they stayed strong, they stayed together. The last couple of results, you know, against Norwich and Burnley, uh, would, have, would have reinvigorated them again and given them the confidence. Um, so, yeah, it's a, it's a team that's fighting and uh, we have to be ready for that for the weekend. Yeah, Ivan Tony seems to have found his best form in the last couple of matches, but Christian Eriksen as well has made a huge difference to Brentford. He's a player I'm sure you, you know so much about, having mm. faced him so many times down the years. Is there a, a sort of mixed feeling about seeing him back doing those things, considering you're facing him this weekend? No, not at all. I think there's just a... Just a real positive feeling that he's back on the, the field again. I'll never forget how I felt watching it. I remember I was, I was on holiday in, in Mallorca at the time and, and I was watching the game, the scenes at that time. And obviously I had Casper in there playing at, at the time as well. Um, and Yannick being involved. But it just, uh, I just was in shock watching it and watching the scenes like probably everyone was. And then you're just praying and hoping that the, that the outcome can be a positive one. And I think seeing him back on the field again, 
really typifies and, and as a great example of his strength and determination uh, to come back and to fight because there's absolutely no doubt his, his talent. You know, I faced him enough times at Tottenham when he was there, when I was at Liverpool to to, to see the, the talent and the, the effect he can have on a game. So the, there's nothing other than a, a real good feeling that, that Christian's back playing again because he is a big, big player. Um, we've seen that in the Premier League. We've seen it when he went to Italy and, um, and this unfortunate uh, incident that he's had has obviously curtailed that a little bit. But the clips I've seen of him from uh, being at Brentford, he just, he just has quality and uh, it'll be great to see him at the weekend.